Hi YouTube, um, I've just been doing more to the Gremlin Sculpt. Um, this time I've been doing some airbrushing, so if you want to have a look down here, this is how he's coming on. Um, so he's really starting to get there now. Um, I've been doing airbrushing basically around all of the um, patches, so you can see where the colour here, the cream colour, transitions into the um, surrounding colour. So this is just airbrushed like a sort of a, a orangey brown colour around each patch. So around all the stripes on his arms. Um, it really softens it in, softens one colour into the other. On the chest area here. Okay so the base colour that I went for um, was very sort of greeny. Um, it's very sort of black, very dark green or greyish green um, but I wanted it to have a sort of a, a brown tinge kind of effect as well so overall um, you still get the sort of very dark green kind of look um, but you also get this nice brown tinge to it so all of these um, scales and things on his face I've just I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but I've just done little tinges of the brown just in to, to uh, soften it in, basically. Um, so what I've got left to do, uh, I've got to do paint the eyes. Um, I'm going to actually paint those white first uh, and then paint the red over the top because I think that will brighten the red up. Um, also, you can see... <laughs> All of his teeth and gums at the moment are black. I just filled some black in. Um, you might have noticed this in the other videos. Can you see my fingers here? Yeah. <laughs> at the moment, there's no um, there's no bottom to the mouth, so you can see my fingers coming through. Um, there is a tongue that I've made in here as well. So what I need to do is paint the tongue uh, and obviously the gums and the teeth. And the reason I've left that gap at the moment is just to make it easy for me to get in there to paint the the backs of the teeth and the tongue. Um, when I'm finished all of this, I will add more milliput in the back there to um, basically just finish the mouth. Uh, and obviously then I'll paint that as well. Um, right, uh, in the ears I did some airbrushing just to kind of add some kind of uh, shadows underneath the kind of edges of the sort of veins and things in the ears uh, and I think that helps makes it look even better oh and on the sort of scaly bits so here on the shoulders um, I dry brushed some more sort of yellow ochre colour uh, that sort of creamy colour first and then airbrushed brown over the top of this to soften it all in um, and I've used the same technique on the scales on the legs so that gives this sort of effect I didn't want it to be as bright as the um, like the patch on his tummy or anything like that but I did want to have like just hints of the sort of creamy colour so I think that works quite well oh I also need to paint the claws on his feet and his hands uh, I need to paint those um, black, jet black so I'll do that as well for the next video uh, the hands as well and the padded parts of the hands I did the same thing, dry brushed uh, the creamy colour and then just uh, airbrush brown in to soften it I'll show you the back as well Okay, so here's his back. You can see exactly the same thing on everything, just softening in all of the cream patches into the surrounding colour. Um, what you'll notice as well is the liquid acrylic, um, where I sprayed it, it actually goes quite glossy. It's quite a bit shinier than the surrounding, which was just System 3 acrylic. Um, the liquid acrylic here yeah, gives a glossy effect. It won't matter because I'm going to spray lacquer the whole lot so the whole lot will actually end up more shiny looking like this so he has a sort of slight wet look to him. 
Um, right, you can see I've done the same thing that I did with the scales on his legs to this at the back here. I think I'm done with that. I mean, I, I might tweak it a bit. I can always dry brush a little bit of just slightly lighter cream colour, just maybe on some of the edges, just to bring it out a bit more. But I'm not sure. I think I quite like it how it is, so I'll probably leave it. You can see the shoulder pad bits again. Um, oh, I did the, on the spine as well, just a bit of um, dry brushing with the cream and then just softening in with brown, mainly just sort of along these sort of side bits, just to soften it in. Okay, just turn it around. Right, so I'm really pleased with how he's looking. Um, He's better than I could have ever imagined, really. Uh, and it's taken me a good couple of days to paint him so far. You know, a couple of all-nighters. But um, I think, you know, especially when the eyes are done, because they're, you know, bright red, uh, and then the, the gums as well, because they're, they're red, and the teeth, you know, making those quite bright. I don't know if I'll go fully white, but they'll certainly stand out much better once they're painted. Um, okay, so if you like this video, uh, make sure you hit subscribe to catch the next one uh, and any videos that I do in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.